Hi everyone, welcome back to Nibla Blog TV. I'm Kristen, and today I thought I would do a what's in my diaper bag video with you. Sage is six months old, and I haven't done a what's in my diaper bag since I did a blog post when she was a newborn. So I thought I would take my diaper bag and go through all of the pockets with you and tell you a little bit about what we carry on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is my diaper bag. It's by Skip Hop. I really, really like it. It's big. Uh, but the thing I really like about it is these straps aren't super long and I'm only five feet tall so a lot of the diaper bags I found would have straps that are so long it would be really hard for me to reach down and grab things from it while it was on my shoulder. So this one's perfect. The straps aren't too long. They're kind of this faux leather um, so they're really comfortable on my shoulder as well. Um, and it's just a really great bag overall size-wise and comfort-wise. The other feature I really like about this bag are these stroller clips here on the side. This one's already clipped and this one's unclipped and all you do is you unclip it right here and then put it over the, sh the stroller handle and clip it on and so you can just kind of hang the bag off of the stroller so when we're walking around the mall or just even going out and about in town I don't have to worry about having the bag over my shoulder as well as pushing the stroller. So that is a feature with I think all Skip Hop bags and I really really like that feature. So I'm going to go through all of the pockets of the bag and show you what's inside. So the first pocket is this top pocket over here. Another feature of the bag is it has this flap, this little snap flap right here, which when she was a newborn we used to just stick a, a like swaddling blanket in there in case she got cold or she spit up or something like that. Now I don't really use it for anything because she's older and she doesn't need any swaddles or anything like that, but it's a good feature to have when your baby is small. So this pocket, I have it open right now because honestly most of the time it is open. Um, I probably should close it, but it's kind of my easy access mom pocket. So let's see what I have inside. Uh, today I have my keys, just my car keys, my house keys, my mail key, and this little essential oil kit. I'm going to do a whole video on these kits if you are interested, uh, but it just has all of the essential oils that I use when I'm out and about. So I have my keys in that pocket pretty much all the time. I have it on my shoulder. When I lock my door, I drop it in there. When I get out of the car and lock the door, I drop it in there and it's just kind of my keys pocket. Uh, I normally also keep my phone in there, so I threw my phone in there because it is usually in there as well. Sometimes it's in my pocket, but most of the time it's in that top pocket right there. Uh, and I also keep uh, some lip balm. This is just my favorite Burt's Bees lip balm. This is the replenishing lip balm with pomegranate oil. It has a little bit of a tint to it, so if I'm going somewhere and I want to have nice, smooth, slightly pink lips, that works. I also have a pen because I write down everything and I always somehow need a pen. I usually have a notebook in here too, but I don't think I have my notebook in here right now. Not in this pocket. I keep my notebook in another pocket, but the pen goes in that pocket. And uh, I have two subway tokens as well. We live just outside the city, so we often go into the city and my subway tokens usually end up tossed in here as well. All right, so that is that pocket. So the next pocket I'm going to show you is the pocket just below this top pocket. And it's this little zipper pocket and it's actually quite a roomy pocket. You could fit a lot in here. Uh, this is, again, is a very easy access pocket on the outside of the bag. So I just keep things that I would grab kind of all the time in there. So I only have two things in there right now, but I'm sure I could make it more useful. Uh, right now I have this Baby Gannix alcohol-free foaming hand sanitizer, which comes in really handy when we're out and about, either when we're on the subway or, you know, I touch something and I don't want to touch Sage, whatever. And then I have these little individual boogie wipes packets. It's probably not very eco-friendly to have them in little individual packets, but these come in handy like you wouldn't even know. She hates having her nose aspirated with the little nose sucker, and when she has any sort of cold or stuffy nose, this is the only way to kind of give her some relief. So we keep these in both of our diaper bags, pretty much easy access everywhere. So the next pockets I want to show you are the outside pockets. And these are insulated pockets, so if you have a bottle for your baby, you can put a bottle in there. I usually keep my water bottle on one side, but I'm using it so it's not in there. And the other side, 
I keep my nursing cover in there. And it's this Utter Covers nursing cover. I really like the print. It's really pretty. Blue and green, two of my favorite colors. Uh, and just if we're out and about and I need to nurse her, which happens quite frequently, I usually end up nursing her in the car just because it's easier than finding a spot wherever we are. But the cover is nice to keep me covered up if we are somewhere where I need to be. So then I'll turn it around to the back and show you what's in the back pocket and then I'll go into the center pocket. So there's this back slip pocket in the back and I usually keep two things in here. The first one is the changing pad that came with the bag. I used to keep the changing pad in the middle in this like kind of diaper kit, but it was just too bulky in the center of the bag. So I keep it in the outside of the bag now and it's no problem. And then I also keep my iPad there. I pretty much carry this everywhere I go. And so that goes in the back slip pocket as well. And then there's also this antimicrobial pocket back here, which comes in handy if we have a diaper or a toy that's dropped or something like that and we don't want it to be in the center of the bag, we throw it back there, but most of the time it's empty. So that's all of the outside pockets of the bag. I'll move on to the center of the bag and I'll see if I can try and show you what it looks like in the center there. So there's one big main compartment and then there's one, two, three, four pretty big pockets on the outside here. There's two small pockets on the inside, kind of on the opposite sides of the bottle pockets. And then there's a zip pocket back here. And then there's the center pocket, of course. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pockets in the middle of it. So that's really handy. I try to keep things pretty organized in here. So let's see what I have. In the back zip pocket, I always keep my wallet. And this is a cell phone wallet, so sometimes when I'm going out by myself, I just bring this with me. So this is really handy. It's from Target. Um, I just put my cell phone in the middle. There's a slot for it. And then there's my keys and any sort of cash, my cards, our health cards, whatever, go in my wallet. And I just keep that in that pocket so I always know where it is. Easy access. Uh, and I'll go through the outside pockets first, kind of on either side of the bag, and then go onto the sides. Actually, I don't even think I have anything in the side pocket, so we'll just do the outside pockets. So just in front of where that wallet was, the zip pocket, is one pocket which has these pacifier and toy wipes. These are all natural. They're by Aleva Naturals. Um, they're bamboo wipes. And as you can see, we've used most of these wipes. She is in a phase where she picks things up and swings them around and drops them and then wants them. This especially happens with Sophie or her Lammy, which is her little wub and up pacifier. So these are essentials to make sure that anything she throws gets cleaned off really quickly so she's not eating dirt or whatever. <laughs> and in the next pocket, we have just a spare bib. And usually I keep a burp cloth in there too, but I think hers was soiled and I forgot to put a new one. So this is just a bib mostly for drool. She has started solid foods recently, but we're not really doing them out and about. Um, so she is very drooly. She's been teething for a couple months now. So extra big bib is essential for that. So that's all I have on those two outside pockets. And then towards the front of the bag, I have a couple of little toys for her. This one is, what do we call him? Oh, nicknamed him Bunga, as in Calabunga, but I'll bone. I know, not very funny. But this is her little cow toy. It's just this little Babies R Us toy I got like in the checkout line and she happens to love him. She likes to hold on to his little arms and legs, he rattles, and we keep him in the bag at all times just as a distraction if she's upset or something like that. And then we also have this awesome wooden teething ring. When she's teething, she needs something to gnaw on and this is small enough that she can put her hand around it and grab it and, and kind of put it in her mouth herself. So we keep this as well. This is really good. She likes that. And then in the other pocket, I uh, usually have a spare change of clothes, but again, she soiled them when you're out of the mall. So I don't have them in there, but usually we have like a onesie and a pair of pants and a shirt or like a little one piece outfit. And we also usually keep an extra sweater. This is a cute little sailboat sweater. I think it's by, yeah, it's by Cherokee, which is by um, a Target brand and just in case she gets cold when we're out and about we don't do blankets very much because she usually just ends up taking the blanket and swinging it around because she's at that age she's six months now so blanket doesn't really work so 
a little sweater works if she's cold when we're out and about because it's springtime so it's a little bit warmer now but not super warm so right now I don't have anything on these little outside pockets behind the um, behind the little bottle pockets there I uh, usually I'll keep some sort of like balm or healing salve in the side there but I took it out I haven't really needed it as much because it's not winter time and she's not as chapped or dry or anything so that's all I have on the outside pockets. I try to keep it pretty minimalist. She doesn't need a ton now that she's six months, but that's so that's pretty much what I keep in the outside pockets. And for the diapering part in the main center pocket, I keep this little pouch and it's just a cosmetic bag. I think I got it at Rexall. And like I said, I used to keep kind of this whole diaper kit, but it was so bulky and it was really hard to put in the center of the bag and pull out with all the pockets, so I just kind of skipped that and I went with this little pouch method and it works really well. If we're in a restaurant or something and I want to change her, I literally just grab this bag and the changing pad and go to the washroom and I don't have to worry about bringing the whole bag with me and finding a place to put the bag and all that. So I just bring this with me. So in this little diaper pouch, all I have are some disposable diapers. She does usually use disposable diapers when we're out and about. It's just easier. If we are going to use cloth on just a short trip, we'll bring a wet bag and put a couple extra in there. But most of the time she just uses disposable because it's easier. Uh, and then in here we also have these this little 10 pack of Honest Wipes. We really like these wipes. No problems with them. They're super natural. And I think they come in a four pack of these little 10 packs, which is really convenient. And then we also have this little diaper genie little bag holder. This isn't very eco-friendly either, but it's good when you're out and about and you have to throw a diaper away in like a public trash and you don't want to leave like a stinky diaper. So we just take one of these little bags out, put the diaper in there and then toss it in the trash. And then lastly in this little bag here we have these Clean Well Hand Sanitizing Wipes. I really like these wipes. They're all natural. They use essential oils to disinfect so there's no triclosan or anything like that. And these little packets are handy when you're diaper changing as well. So that is all that's in that little pouch there. So let's see if there's anything else in the diaper bag. I think that's it. Well, one more thing, <laughs> little headband. These headbands are adorable. I love them. They're by Little Hip Squeaks. And I, she usually goes out of the house wearing them and then they fall off or she pulls it off or whatever. She usually wears them most of the day, but they usually end up in the bottom of the diaper bag if they come off during the day. So that's it. That is all that's in my diaper bag. Um, the diaper pouch obviously isn't in there, but that's what we keep in the diaper bag at six months. Pretty simple. It's still pretty heavy. I mean, I keep my iPad and a bunch of diapers and, and my phone and all that sort of stuff in there, but it's not crazy heavy. It's pretty easy to carry around and it holds all of our essentials when we are out and about. So I would love to hear what you keep in your diaper bag with your six month old in the comments down below. If you think that I'm crazy for not having something or if you think I have way too much in here, let me know. I'm interested to hear. Uh, that is all I have for today. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I will see you in my next video.